bricks, we bricks, we bricks. Relax, we bricks, we bricks. Relax, Afawax. Relax, will you? Hello, Afawax. It's the last day of this lovely giveaway build, so let's do the knoll. <laughs> Another person. Righty ho. We have a mini fig to begin with. It's our last elf. Uh, same as before. I think we're going to call him Eddie. Eddie the elf. Yeah, look, we look. I think I th I think we'll say Eddie's a girl. Okay, Eddie, there's our last uh, elf. Um, so that's super. Now I think we're just we're making something rather spectacular today to end on which is rather fun, but off to the Google Eyes we go. And we start with Jim Byrne, who says, wonderful halftime show, excellent soundtrack, excellent script editing and FX, excellent acting all round. Uh, you can have some and all. I was left wanting more, more, more. If I have to, I will steal an usherette's uniform to get in for part two. Congratulations, Afworks. Well, I can reveal there is a part two. Um, which I'm hoping to start filming today, in which every single Afawak will be appearing. Uh, so, <sighs> brace yourselves for that. It's going to be quite the epic conclusion. But uh, well done to Jordan uh, for all the effort he put in there. Absolutely brilliant. Um, Eric. He's got a duck of Fazio. They both like watching Lego. And they really like musicals. Oh, his name is Eric. Ba -ba -bum. Uh, he says, uh, okay, if they're fluorescent, this is of course the discussion about tabards, and the way a tabard is described, a tabard would be called a safety vest over here. Oh. See, look, we're, see, we're learning, we're learning things. A safety vest. Oh, hang on. Get this right, Kennedy, or you'll be in trouble. I think it's this way. Oh, spatial awareness. Thank you. Tweedle, Mandy, Tweedle, Buzz, Poo, Sue. They are twins and they love poo. Tweedle, Mandy. What an absolutely stonking halftime show. Yeah. He did well, didn't he? I'm delighted. I'm delighted for for him that it's gone down so well. So I hope this encourages um, others of you to either send me a script if you if you can't do the animation, write a little script and send it in, and I'll do my very best uh, to make uh, that dream come true. Uh, she says, and such a cliffhanger. Well done, Doctor Jordan, Mother Goose. Rosie Lee and Noreen, I really loved it. Yes, of course, we, 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 we mustn't forget that, that Noreen, our dear darling Noreen Cullen, uh, has emerged from the shadows and has voiced her own voice uh, in this, uh, which is absolutely tremendous. I mean, I, I, I don't know why she put on that voice that where she doesn't sound like the voice that, that I give, give for her. I mean... That, that's, I mean <laughs> What? What? Surely she sounds exactly, exactly um, as the voice I have given her. I, mean, I don't really 
don't really understand how that worked out. But anyway, uh, Jordan says, thanks, Mandy. It only gets more epic from here. Oh, so, oh sorry. I, I should give Jordan his, his proper um, introduction. Jordan, Jordan, Jordan. Well done. Says, I hope everyone enjoyed the halftime show. I don't think there's any doubt that everyone enjoyed the halftime show, Jordan. You've, you've, you've kicked that one out the park. Uh, uh, Vaz Pusu says, massive applause to anyone, to everyone involved in the halftime show. It was brilliant. First Doctor Who I've watched. As a child, I was always behind the sofa at the first sight of Daleks, hence my request for a sofa to be built. <coughs> Cough. Um, Eric says, oh, the burp in the middle of Frere Echo was beautiful. I, I didn't, I didn't do it deliberately, I promise. Oh, I can't believe it. Fruity burp. I can't actually believe that just happened, but it did. can't believe that just happened. <laughs> oh my goodness me. I can't pop them out at will either. That that was that was legitimate. Um I'm so glad part 1 uh, is out so we can talk about it. The secrecy around part 2 is paramount. No spoilers to ruining the ending. No, we must not ruin the ending. No. Nope. Only Jordan, myself, and possibly Noreen uh, know how part two is panning out. I mean, I'm assuming uh, they're both going to reprise, reprise their roles from part one and do their own voices. I take that as a red. Um, but it's thrilling, isn't it? Absolutely thrilling. Um, Noreen, 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 Noreen. She says, who would have thought that's what I sound like? Go, well, well done, Jordan. Did she say it? I mean, she's, I very much enjoyed the the voice you put on. Um, I'm going to go in for this, you know. Uh, I very much enjoyed the voice you put on for, uh, for, uh, the halftime show. It was, it was, it was brilliant, Noreen. Brilliant. 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 I says, thank you. Very proud to have you as my doctor's assistant. If part two is successful and the demand is there, there is definitely room for a sequel. Uh, small reminder, I do actually have a job. Just small reminder. Small reminder. But yes, you can always send me another one. Just not one a week, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Look. Um, what's going on with these? This is. We thought she was from Canada and then we didn't think she was from Canada and then it turned out she was from Canada. It's. William B. What an what an exceptional halftime show. Wow we a uh, well done, Jordan A. A poor Noreen. One moment she was killing Daleks, and the next she was taken by Sari Sagani. How rude, eh? Emma is begging for release because she doesn't want to listen to Mandy and myself anymore. That's not true. I, w I will I will see you in court. Gillian B. It's not true. I would stand listening to you chatting to me all day long. However, you were released in the halftime show, so I think you should be out now, no? Well, technically, no. No. That was the stuff that dreams are made on. Um, I'm still in the Blair Hole. I'm still in there. We'll have to wait and see if the bar has, has broken the strike um, later on. Ooh, look, this is happening. Oh, look. Ooh, a little bit, little bit of cheeky techniques. Crumbs alive. 
There we are. Mm, nice. Nice. Nicely done. Yes. Yep. Okay. Um, next bit of Google eyes. Uh, Jordan says, I would have named the elves Ed, Ed, with a double D, and Eddie. Hmm. I've, I mean, I've already forgotten what I've what I've called this one. I've, I've, did I call it Eddie or did it was it Ernie? I can't even remember. I can't even remember what I've done five minutes ago, let alone what I did yesterday. Says so I put my Christmas decorations up very early this year, but Christmas is so fun. Uh, Gillian B. The snow-covered windows and look out a fair bay as are the Christmas lights. Oh, well we, well we. Sharon Renzuli, Sharon Renzuli, Sharon Renzuli. Sharon Renzuli, Sharon Renzuli, Sharon Renzuli. Uh, she says, yo, uh, part one was Buffo. Uh, Noreen is a true woman warrior. Realistic rumble with Sigourney. Uh, thanks for taking me along. Uh, how'd you know I have red leather sneakers? Love my hair. Yeah. Ten four. Mm. Mm. Is that the first? That can't be the first time you saw your minifig. Shawley. Shawley. Shawley, Sharon Renzuli. Uh, Shawley. Um. Ba -ba -bum -ba -bum -ba -bum. Uh, I feel, uh, a film is supposed to move. Yours propelled. Vavoom. No dead spots. Honored to be in your video. Ah, uh, super. Uh, John says, thank you. Pleasure to have you involved. Pleasure to have you involved. Right, off to the Twitter eyes. Twitter, 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 Twitter eyes. Twitter eyes, Twitter eyes. Twitter, Twitter eyes. Twitter, Twitter eyes. Twitter eyes. Twitter, 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 there was a lot of Twitter eyes today. I imagine a lot of it is just saying, well done. Uh, for the halftime show, I might have to skip over a lot of the, a few of those if, if we're if we're uh, pushed for a time. But I will try and do as many as possible, of course. Uh, Jordan says, "Just wanted to say a big thank you to Emma Kennedy." That's me. That's me. Uh, Lego with that's also me. Well, technically, it's us. Uh, Noreen and Rosalie for their excellent work on the halftime show. I couldn't have done it without you, and you're all amazing. Yes, I mean, a round of applause, please, for Rosie Lee, as ever, who did the music. Jordan, of course, did the, wrote the script and uh, did the special effects, so well done to him. And uh, Noreen, uh, our dear Noreen Cullen, of course, had a uh, major uh, starring role in her uh, 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 as a voice artist. Thank you. A voice artist. I just did the usual. I'm just I'm just the grunt here. I just I just I just do as I'm told, so I get no applause. I'm not giving myself an applause, no. I don't deserve it. Um, voila. This is shaping up nicely. Uh, Alan. Uh, Alan Harwood. Twit twoo. Congratulations to everyone for a very successful halftime show collaboration. See, it is possible to work together and agree on things on the Afflewag Zoo. Oh, sorry. Community. You boinger. Uh, Ruth Hayes says, uh, sorry. Slight confusion. Slight confusion, early pirates yesterday, uh, was because um, the thread was broken accidentally uh, by me. Uh, the, the the curse, the curse of the broken thread, the curse of it. No, that's very wrong, isn't it? No, it's. Hang on. Hmm. No, it is correct. No, it was wrong. Hang on, I'm just checking here. Ba -ba -ba -bum. Yeah, okay. Carry on, Ruth Hayes. Um, John said Afawakadras was very peaceful, so I asked him if all the pirates had left. He told us the awful news read the bloodbath, which was then shockingly ignored. Poor pirates. They're, no, they're all very much... Uh, the pirates are, are fine. I can confirm that the pirates are absolutely fine. 
and have Afawakatras uh, entirely surrounded. Um, so no need to worry on that score. They're all fine, Ruth. Don't worry about it. Do not worry, do not worry. The pirates are fine, the pirates are fine. Um, John Perry, do I feel Jackie is correct. And they did murder each other. What else could have happened? Well, they didn't, so stop fibbing, number one. Stop fibbing, you, you, you boinger. Stop fib fibbing, you fibber. Um, Kath Pearson, uh, where was Petite Sue during this bloodbath? Uh, uh, no idea. Uh, well, the, the bloodbath didn't happen, Kath Pearson. She says, of course, says Ruth Hayes. We only have John say so on this matter. I'd like to see some evidence. I think someone uh, needs to visit the alleged crime scene. Right, OK, come on. Come on, you're coming with me. You're coming with me. Come on, excuse me, excuse me. Taking the whole shebang. Whole shebang. Look. Oh, look, there's John Parry. <laughs> Enough Wackatraz. He's there till further notice. But look, the, the pirates are fine. They're all absolutely fine. They're all absolutely fine. They're fine. Voila. There we go. Quick sweep round the old Lego studio. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. By the way, whoever wins. Whoever wins the elf house, ig ignore the f ignore the five on the bag that you're getting it in. Ignore it. Just ignore it. <coughs> Kath Pearson says, These lo lovely ladies are wearing tabards. The fluorescent garments worn by a uh, clipboard wielding Hitlers are just known as high-vis vests. Oh, yes, I mean, that is, that is technically correct. Yes, that's a tabard. Yeah, you're you're right there, Kath Pearson. I uh, I bow to your superior knowledge. I bow to it. Now then, that's going there. Uh, Rosalie says, "Well, wow, it's been decades since I've seen one of those pre-made trees. That was uh, uh, the only Lego trees back in the day." Oh, sorry, I pointed with my finger and I knocked a camera. That's a double. Thank you. It is nice. I rather like it. Stop it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, Baby Smash and the Sunset. Uncle Strawberry. The Moaning Minnie, the Matter, the Lego Whisperer. Um, he says, he says, the broken threading meant you missed this very important tweet. Uh, so while I'm super happy about Barracuda Bay, I'm also fuming about the beige wand. Uh, he then uh, uh, sends me a tweet from yesterday where I asked him if he was happy now. And he says, no, absolutely not. I don't want a wand like, and then in asterisks, this is how cross, cross he is, that. I want a pink fairy wand, obviously. Who on earth wants a, and then an asterisk, beige wand. I can sense your fury. Um, I can sense it. I sense it. And so I can now reveal. Oh, look. Oh, look. Oh, look. Oh, look what Bevis has got. I mean, is there anything I don't do for you? Excuse me, there's a hair on the table. Is there anything I don't do for you, Bevis? Unbelievable, it's so in you're all so indulged. You're indulged. Good grief. Uh, Bevis Musson, a uh, huge round of applause for the halftime show. I thought I was particularly good in it. Uh, hashtag modest to a fault. Mm. Have to say, I don't hate this roof since you can't really see the ugly inside of it. I'd be inclined to add some brown rafters at the front to hide it completely, though. Mm. I think this is a nice roof. I like it. Uh, love the balcony and telescope. Let's let's go out while while Bevis is discussing what we've built. Yes, I love that too. I love that too, um, and agree that the putting together of the roof is a vast improvement on the hassle that was both the gingerbread roof and the haunted house roof. Th this roof was no problem at all. It was lovely to build. Really lovely. 
also have to say for what is a relatively small set it does feel quite big yes I know what you mean I think it's because they've packed so much so much into it and it's got quite good moving parts and things maybe it's just because of the height of it but it feels on a par with the gingerbread house despite being significantly uh, smaller yes I, w I would agree with this assessment uh, Bevis I would agree with it yes I would agree I don't know what I'm up to la 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 mm, I think I'm up to here <laughs> yeah or I'm up to here who said that step forward who said that who said that no no one no one little sue and she's called little sue she's little and she's called sue it's little sue uh, uh, hello i'm up it's me little sue uh la petite sue avec les poisons poisons oh bonjour ça Bonjour, it's me, La Petite Sue. You finished? M mais oui, d'accord. Of course. Right, well, go on then. Well, I just wanted to say very well done to Jordan. What a brilliant halftime show. And obviously to you, of course, Emma, because you had to make it. <laughs> that goes without saying. Uh, uh, hearing you and Noreen. It really added a certain, hmm, um, um, how can I say this? It added a certain... Yeah, deep breath, go on, you can do it. A certain... Je ne sais quoi. A poisson, poisson, please press the button. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, little Sue. Uh, Neil says, a fabulous halftime show. Huge round of applause to everyone involved in that joint uh, collaboration. Uh, looking forward to the sequels. Uh, hashtag the time crystal. The time crystal. Uh, Stan's mum says, Miles behind, as I wanted to save the RWB Sesame Street to do a build along, accidentally had the closed captions on for the first bag. And this is definitely how Vaz Poo Sue should spell her name henceforth. Loving the build, by the way, super colours. Oh, this is very good. So this is the captions that were on as uh, she was watching RWB. Um, uh, congratulations, Vaz Poo Sue. Uh, you sang my song for me, Vaz, Vaz Poo Sue. Uh, um, uh, yes, please, can I read that out? Um, yeah, go on. Um, Congratulations, Vapusu, Vaspusu, 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 did you ever let Poisson Poisson? You sang my song for me, my chanson, Rue d'Amour, ba ba ba. Yeah, right, that'll do. Please, can you press the bottom? Uh, Tweedlevast Poo Sue uh, says that is brilliant. I will uh, change my Twitter name immediately. And she has. She is now a Tweedlevaz Poo Sue. <laughs> I'm very much enjoying that. Vaz Poo Sue. Vaz Poo Sue. Um, uh, Stan's mum says, I was so impressed with the new name, I had to leap forward in time. To let you know, uh, Twiddle Vaz Pusu uh, says, I'm so glad you did. I absolutely love it. I felt cowardly using the traditional spelling of my Afrowork name previously, but now I can be out and proud as Vaz Pusu. Yes, yes, yes. You are liberated from the constraints of traditional spelling, uh, as uh, Stan's mum quite rightly uh, points out. Eric Oswald says, all this, all this time, I thought you were saying 
the Pierce Inn, as in the Zoom Inn. I thought it was another British colloquialism. I hadn't heard before. No, it's the Pearson, as in Kath Pearson, the Pearson, the Pearson. I'm glad we've sorted this out. Imagine all the people who've been watching going, what, it, what, what, sorry, what's she saying? Sorry, what? What, what's she saying? The Pearson, P-E-A-R-S-O-N. Uh, Neil says he thought it was let's peer in. Uh, scrub down, scrub down. Here she comes. Here she comes. Here she comes. As, as Jackie Swan has really enjoyed the halftime show and fabulous to hear Jordan and Noreen. Excellent. Excellent. Um, <laughs> Noreen says, uh, not too Irish, I think, or am I a full-blown nerdy? This is, this is how you actually sound, Noreen. This is this is your actual voice, Noreen. I don't know what you do, don't know what you were doing <laughs> with with pretending that that's how you speak. I don't what. <laughs> I mean, you know, fair play as you were being a voice artiste at the time. <laughs> but yeah, gee, I, I mean, the suggestion that I've got it's completely wrong. I don't what. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. Can't, you can't, that can't be right. Can't be right. Um, uh, job very, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, for Barracuda Bay, uh, we, we need some more, uh, pirates, uh, on, on the table. I mean, this is going to be interesting, isn't it, when we're building Barracuda Bay to see if a certain somebody, um, is sort of overly interested in it. Oh, who could you be talking about? Oh, come, hang on. Uh, come, come forth. Uh, come, come forth. Come forth, Tim Goff. Come forth, uh, Tim Goff. Uh, how, how are you? We haven't had a chat in a while. Uh, yeah, I'm fine, thank you. Yeah, I'm great. Yeah, I'm good. Um, uh, what, 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 what could I have here? Well, I was just wondering, I, I don't know if you've heard the rumour that we're doing the Barracuda Bay next so, time. Yeah, yeah, but I, 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 I haven't got a, an unnatural interest uh, in it. Um, just another RWBC, I think, that, that, we're, that we're building. So you've got no no special interest in in it being a build that's all about pirates. No, no, I haven't. No. Pirate pirates, you say? Yes, it's rammed with pirates. Mm. Yeah, well, that'll be nice for everyone, won't it? Mm. Mm. All right, press forth back to the poo go. Don't you? Yes, I'll, 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 I'll press forth. Yeah, press forth. Press forth past the Alps. Thank you. Press forth. It's impenetrable. It's absolutely impenetrable. Um, uh, Emma. Yes. Uh, I miss I missed someone out and I need and I need to fix and I need to fix it. Come on, uh, by the way, please can you go back in again? I was enjoying it. Thank you. Pan down. Thank you. Uh, um, I forgot to say well done to Rosie Lee for the excellent music and drawings as well because she does music and drawings. Of course, she's so brilliant, doesn't she? Am I? Yes, yes, she does. Yeah, they're absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Uh, I, I uh, by the way, I tried this under my other comment about the halftime show, but it's this, this red sun, it's a nightmare, Emma. I don't want to go near it. No, it's probably sensible. I mean, uh, God, goodness only knows how many mess how many messages get missed on a daily basis because of the, the threading nightmare. The, th the constant threading uh, nightmare. Anyway, um, that, that, that's what I wanted to say about Rosie Lee, so please... Pardon. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Rosie Lee says, Merci, mon petit ami. Ah, ha, ha. Yeah, that's really cute, isn't it, Emma? Yes, it's really cute, yes. Charlie Job, she fights crime. She fights crime with her face hair, but not exclusively so. Uh, she says, Oh, my face and I are aware. Of 
the identity of Rex Dangerfest. Excuse me. Excuse me. You'll recall yesterday that I asked Charlie Chops in her capacity as the person who fights crime with her face hair, but not exclusively so, uh, whether she could find out uh, who Rex Dangervest is. So here we have confirmation. We have confirmation that Charlie Chops knows the identity of Rex Dangervest. Who is it? Who is it? Will Charlie Chops reveal the true identity of Rex Dangervest in her capacity as the person who fights crime with her face hair, but not exclusively so? Let's find out. Here we go. Drum roll. Drum roll. But I will not hand them over to your vigilante justice and kangaroo court, so... <laughs> Excuse me? What? What? That's a... I can't believe it. It's like the Wild West here. It's like the flipping Wild West. <sighs> Can you believe it? They've, they've even got... They've even got... Oh, look. They've even got to the law enforcement. Good grief. Did we ever think it would come to this? Did we ever think it would come to this? Um... Yes, Jackie. There is now there is now a series of gifts. Uh, Jackie Swan, thank you. Yeah. Oh, look! Here comes Rex Dangervest strutting his strutting his stuff like he owns the place. Oh, will you look at that? <sighs> Gee whiz! Gee whiz! Uh, John Perry, after hearing Eric's story, uh, I'm starting to think that this Trump chap might be. Bit of a wrong end. Oh, be don't say, says Jackie Swan. Not off. Now then, hang on, this is going on. Ooh. Hmm. 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 That's, that's a lovely thing, isn't it? That's lovely. Don't know what it is, but it's lovely. I mean, we're obviously making some sort of chimbley. Um, but I don't know, I don't know what... This is supposed to, oh, whoops. Well, we'll probably find out any minute, won't we? Not any minute, no. It has to be there. So there's a bit of movement. Okay. Um, right, where are we up to? Um, Eric Oswald says, oh my God, Noreen beating up the Daleks had to be one of my favourite RWB moments ever. But where is Dame Dawn French in this half time show? Where is she? Well, you wait and see. Um, uh, Noreen beating up the Daleks was one of the best scenes I've seen in a long time. I can assure you in part two, Dame Dawn French will have a role. It's one of the greatest rules she's coming she's she's coming that's all you need to know she's coming she's coming dame dawn is coming spark up the dame dawn signal for she is coming she is coming she is coming dame dawn is coming thank you hmm. um Rosie Lee, uh, Jordan, an amazing halftime show. And Noreen, lovely accent. Could you record yourself reading the phone book? Uh, Faye says, or any book. Uh, she, Noreen says, I can do. If they produce the phone book now, I'd say I'd go, uh, I'd go more naughty if I was reading full sentences. Voila. I mean, that is the voice she speaks in this. That's now in, not, not in dispute. Even though she was pretending that she didn't. Even that she was pretend she was clearly pretending. Uh, but she doesn't talk exactly like uh, how I do her voice. Uh, um, um, uh, yes. Um, I've I've got a request actually. Yeah, go on then. Uh, pl please, could we see the the light brick again? Because the the top of the elf house was on a screen when you showed us. Uh, yeah, like as. As per usual, I just right. Okay, don't. No need to be rude. Well, can we see it again, please? Yes. So it goes like that. Look. Oh. Uh, Emma, it's. 
I don't know how many times I have to say it. You're not chewing us the top of the house properly. Please do it. That sounds bad. Oh, thank you. So I pressed on that. And then it... Look, can you see on my finger? I'm not entirely sure. Unless there's something coming we don't know about. But I'm not entirely sure that... That's a brilliant use of a light brick. I'm convinced this, that there's going to be something, surely, because it can't just do that. I mean, obviously, if we were in the dark, that would show up a bit better, but... Well, anyway, there it is. Well, OK, thank, thank you, Emma. If you have to show it to us again later, do please. I'm actually begging you, remember, to pan up, for goodness sake. Now pan in, please. Right. Flipping heck. Do this, do that, Jiminy Crickets. <sighs> What's going on there? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now then, where are we up to on the googly eyes? Oh, the googly eyes. Yes, Charlie Chops uh, is just being rude gifts. Just rude gifts. Rude. Rude gifts. Rude gifts. Um, uh, Neil, I cannot believe this was missed because Mother Goose broke the Bevis thread. I, uh, this caused sustained laugh out loud hilarity and needs a recognition. Hashtag, uh, Wandgate. Yes, I've, 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 I've dealt with it. I've dealt with it. It's fine. Uh, Charlie Job, she fights crime. She fights crime with the face terror, but not exclusively so. Says, amazing halftime show. Shameless anti-sorry Sigourney propaganda, but it was absolutely fab. You lost, even including that injustice. Well done all. Poor Sigourney. I can't believe... Excuse me, Charlie Chops, you were the person who, who sent her down um, in in the other epic uh, halftime show that we did. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's like you're a corrupt cop. I hope I've done that right. Mm. Yeah, it's not, I'm not necessarily confident about that. Oh, I see. Okay, that hooks in there. And there, what goes along the back? Ah, uh, okay. That there. that there okay um ruth hayes did anyone see cornwall with simon reeve bbc2 on sunday evening wonderful bit on reintroduction of beavers uh, to native waters uh, one of the beavers was called sigourney honestly it made me absolutely hoot my head off um uh jordan says sigourney beaver uh, between snorts, I tried to explain to the husband, but uh, it fell on deaf ears. It made my uh, day, though. It's an amazing name. I need a beaver now. Oh, this kiss study on Jordan. Oh, I didn't mean it like that. Honestly, definitely need a mega boing. Uh, for that, for that. Yes, you do. Uh, Neil, uh, who I'm afraid was he was he was fired in spectacular fashion uh, yesterday. In spectacular fashion um oh look hang on these waffles are going in look they're going in here one two and three so look we've got three three waffles in there right like that look and then oh <gasps> Oh, that was brilliant. Did you see it dropped? It dropped into the saucepan. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, look, look. Oh, that's absolutely brilliant. Oh, I really love that. That's really lovely. That's a, such a lovely little moving part. That's divine. Absolutely divine. And then that, and then that, oh, and then look, that pulls out. Oh, oh, let's just watch that again. Right, so. Do that. And look, it drops down into there. And then, oh, 
I mucked that up, didn't I? <laughs> it didn't drop in there. Let's just, just let's just draw it discreet. Right, let's try again. There we are. Look, now it's in the pan. Look, that's absolutely brilliant. Oh, I love that. That's getting around the floor. Absolutely love that. That's fabulous. That's fabulous. That's brilliant. Oh, no, excuse me, didn't need to do a mega boy. Oh, by the way, here we are, Jordan, if you want a mega boy. There we are. Hang on, again. Mega boy. Thank you. Thank you for the mega boy. Uh, right, so Neil, who was fired yesterday, we get back to him. He says, uh, with great grace, I must add, he says, respect. The VAR, hashtag Afwax forever. You get a round of applause for that, sir. A round of applause for it. That is the sign of a true gentleman. A gentleman, sir. A gentleman. Um, I then added uh, that surely the holy VAR, Mr Graham Triggs, can have no complaints following today's dramatic conclusion. We look forward to his sacred adjudications forthwith. Uh, Mr Graham Triggs, the VAR, the official referee with Relax with Bricks, thank God. He's back. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. He says, I've been resting a sore eye, so I'm about four days, five days behind. Oh, well, wait till you see what's been going on, Mr. Graham Triggs. Says, and I doubt I'll be back up to date before the weekend. I do not go out of order. I leave that to the rest of you. And now here we here we go. I I, I I tell him that he's restored with a discreet bow and ask me if I can come out of the blow. Says I am withdrawing my picket line and riding Barry Glare over to the modular shelves for a few days holiday before I'm back up to speed. I have left the blair hole unlocked. So you know. <gasps> Excuse me, 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 let's just look her oh, look, Mr. Graham Triggs has gone to the modulus with Barry Glare, how exciting, right, excuse me, oh sorry, but sorry Gillian B, sorry Gillian B, excuse me Rosie Lee, thank you for keeping me entertained, um, I love the fact, by the way, that Wild Renaissance and Noreen are still in the spa, in the bar. That's, that's very much still ongoing. Um, put the piano back there. And finally, 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 I am coming out of the Blair Hole. Thank you. Thank you. I've done the crime. I've served the time. Thank you. I am out and I'm back. Back on the bleachers, thank you. Oh, phew, what, what, what an episode that has been. What an episode in our WB history. It is now concluded, thank the Lord above. Right, here we go. Now then. Uh, uh, John Perry, a wonderful uh, half-time uh, Oh, Um... Uh, Neil then shouts Ninjago City uh, hashtag seven oh six two oh one slash forty nine. I don't, I, I don't know to what you're referring apart from Ninjago City. What's one slash forty nine? You'll have to tell me. Uh, Eric uh, Oswald says uh, I would guess that since we haven't heard from Mr. Gary Blair in a while, that he must be Rex. Danger vest. Um, I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. Uh, Mike, formerly Toby Mori Jake, he got the wrong email. So something tells me that pesky danger vest character is being played by our resident prisoner. I mean, that's. I mean, I'm sorry, but that's my. Uh, that that that's my number one guess. That it's uh, uh, Mr. John Perry. But you know, that's just a guess. That's just a guess. However, Charlie Chops knows. Not that she's telling us. Gee whiz. Gee whiz, et tu brute. What's going there? No, 
nice. That's nice. Um, uh, uh, Matt Barnes uh, says Barracuda Bay and then a gif of pirates dancing, which is tremendous. Uh, Matt Barnes says half time show, stupid plunger. Look at the state of ye. I, I should have said that to the dodgy plumber. We had to fix the loo during lockdown. Oh, that's, that's, a, that's a good boy. Oh, look. And there's Rex Danger Vest. Rex Danger Vest has, has popped up again. He says, uh, first you must build before you can break. Hashtag Rex Celsior. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mr. Mr. Triggs, please. Please, Mr. Triggs. Mr. Triggs, pl please. Please, Mr. Triggs, I'm, I'm actually begging you, please. Please, Mr. Triggs. Please. Please. That concludes club business. What a dramatic end to today's club business. With the return of Rex Danger Vest. Um, yes. Okay, just making sure I've actually got that right. Clean that. How are we doing for time? Not too bad today. Mm -hmm. Of course, we'll start Barracuda Bay tomorrow. So that's exciting. Voila, voila. a nice nicely shaped chimney isn't it lovely bit of design a lovely chimney. Still waiting to see if that light brick does something substantial. It's my only reservation thus far with this set, but no doubt we will find out imminently. Oh, by the way, uh, we need to um, have another poo bingo giveaway. Um, actually, I think I know what I'm going to do. Yeah, OK, don't worry. Don't worry about that. I think I've got something I can, I can give. For the next live and bricking. Stand down everyone. Stand down. Voila.
okay and that goes and on on top of that well that that's pretty impressive isn't it you can't even see it so big look that is a whopping chimney this is amazing absolutely love that um right finishing touches oh this is fun this is fun stocking that's fun that's really great I love that now where is this going clicking on there Ooh. oh that's it it's on oh so that goes come sir right I think that that is the end of the build I'm just seeing if there's a no okay well all so all the light brick does is um oops all the light brick does is is light up this room which will hang on i'll just turn the lights off oh that's nice there we go yeah that that is lovely okay super okay so so that uh is the elf clubhouse and uh if you are a goose there will be a draw for that at the next uh live and um, bricking uh but you can win that and all the bits that came with it and the lovely elves and the much sought after uh little reindeer so if you would like to be uh considered for that uh, prize draw then uh, goose up which you can do uh, for as cheaply as uh, three pounds a month uh, you choose the tiers you get more as you go up obviously but if you want to support relax with bricks uh, going forward and think that uh, the price of a, of a nice coffee once a month is worth it then goose up and you'll get your membership pack and other things as you go up the tiers uh, so that's that for today what a lovely build that was I really really enjoyed it I think it's really pretty I think um, you get a lot in it for uh, as Bevis said for for how small it is really but it feels like a much bigger substantial build this is wonderful that's absolutely wonderful and of course we've got the the little uh, shaking beds but all of this down here was absolutely delightful so there it is right so come back tomorrow and we will begin barracuda bay see you then for forever bye bye